Hello, I'm GQ contributing editor Jason Barlow, and welcome to the first in a four-part series in which we evaluate some of the contenders for 2018's GQ Car Awards in association with Michelin and some of Britain's best roads. Today, we're in the Peak District, and over there is the notorious Snake Pass. A lot of people have had their thunder stolen by that upstart Californian Elon Musk and Tesla, particularly the ludicrous mode in the Model S P100. Well, this is Porsche's attempt to steal some of that thunder back. It's the, uh, the rather grandiosely titled Panamera Turbo S E-Hybrid. I love internal combustion engines, but I love electric power as well. It is just so seamless. This is a 2.3 ton German limousine, and here we are wafting through the Snake Pass on EPAR. We're doing 30 miles per hour. Right, the engine's just kicked in. Fortunately, Porsche has seen fit to allow me access to all the sporty bits of the chassis and the powertrain via a button here in the steering wheel. So, following my little lyrical waffle about EPAR, Let's see what it can really do. Well, it's not a 911, but it's pretty damn good. But here's one of the conundrums with this car. I mean, this is a technological marvel. It draws on Porsche's experience from the 918 Spider and also its experience winning Le Mans and the World Endurance Championship with the 919, which is an astonishing bit of kit. A lot of that thinking has gone into this car, which is pretty incredible. So why the Snake Pass then? Well, it's one of the best roads in the UK, but it's also notorious. It's, uh, it's dangerous. Bikers love this road, and they like the challenge of it. I like the challenge of it in a, in a car, but it also critically puts the emphasis on your choice of tires. This car has Michelin's Pilot Sport 4 tires. It enhances steering fill, road holding, Wet weather handling is improved by these tires as well. They're really, really terrific, and you notice them in the conditions. We have autumnal slippery roads out here today. And longevity as well. You want them to last because, you know, they're an investment. So according to the little display in front of me, I've now done four hours, 14 minutes driving this car. Not completely constantly, but I got up early this morning and did a 200 mile drive and felt as fresh as a daisy when I got out. Um, it's basically designed for that. It's a long legged limo. But on top of that, the e-hybrid version of the Panamera is also, well, it's Porsche's technological manifesto. And when you look into the tech they have put in this car and how they've made it work, it just underlines their position as one of the best companies, certainly one of the best car companies and one of the best technology companies, full stop, in the world. And on that basis alone, even if I have some issues about how well it works in the real world, the Panamera Turbo S E-Hybrid is definitely a contender for a GQ 2018 car award.